U.S. officials say four Americans were killed early this morning by pirates off the coast of Somalia, just three days after the group was taken hostage during a sailing trip. Jay Gray has more on the deadly attack. U.S. warships had been shadowing the quest since last Friday when it was captured by pirates. Negotiators had been working to secure the release of the four Americans on board, Gene and Scott Adam, who owned the ship, and Phyllis McKay and Bob Riggle, who were sailing with the couple. As those negotiations continued this morning, officials say shots were fired on board the quest. Forces responding to those gunshots found the four Americans dead. I want to express my deepest condolences to the family families of the crew of the quest. The loss of our fellow Americans is a tragedy. A short skirmish followed on the yacht. Two pirates were killed, 13 detained. A statement from U.S. Central Command indicates 19 pirates may have been involved in the kidnapping. They're very, very experienced sailors. Friends of the four Americans say they understood the dangers involved and were not the type to take risk on the open sea. There have been reports the group was delivering Bibles as a part of their trip. Those people don't have the ability to come to the United States. And their uh, biblical mission, as I have always understood it, is to give Bibles to people with like-minded uh, thoughts. They're not out to go to the Islamic world to be evangelical Christians. Whatever the mission, it went terribly wrong three days ago and ended tragically early this morning. Jay Gray, NBC News.